Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Let's read this together. It says write the value of x in the equation below. So let's read this problem and see what they mean by x. And notice we have negative 3 plus 3 in parentheses, okay, to the first power, and that equals x here. So now I'm thinking, well, we've got to solve for x. We've got to figure out what x is. So we've got to figure out what this expression is here because x equals that expression. So negative 3 plus 3, that's 0, right? And if you haven't thought about this before, let's, or if you've forgotten or you're a little bit rusty, negative 3 and 3 are called opposites. So if I have a number line, and it's my positive direction, my negative direction, with 0 centered here, we have 1, 2, and 3 on one side. And then we can say negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So, so 3 and negative 3 are opposites. They are opposite and equal distances from 0. And when you add them to each other, when you add to any two opposites, like 3 and negative 3, or 2 and negative 2, or 1 and negative 1, you always get the exact same result. You get 0. The sum of any two opposites, or additive, I'm spelling this right, additive inverses, right, or opposites, um, same, means the same thing. Um, boy, this is embarrassing, I'm not sure how to spell opposites. Um, but additive inverses or opposites, if we add them up, right, we get a sum of zero. So negative three plus three is zero to the first power equals x. So what is zero to the first power? Well, essentially zero to, to any power is zero. Except if you have zero to the zero power, that's a special case. We're not sure, is zero to the zero power one? Is it uh, is zero to the zero power zero? That's a whole big debate. So if we leave that out of this here, right? We're just approaching what is zero to the first power or zero to any other power other than zero, and that answer is zero. So here, x equals zero. And if you're not sure why this is, let's just briefly go over it. Why is zero to any power other than zero? Still zero, so like zero to the hundredth. Why, why would that equal zero? Well, the logic here is that if you start with nothing, right, if you have nothing, and you multiply it any number of times, right, whether you multiply it 100 times or 2 times, that product is still going to be 0. This is called the zero product property. Essentially, if you multiply any amount of zeros, you know you're going to get a zero. Or if you know that you multiply to get a zero, there had to be a zero in there in the first place. So this is the zero product property. So zero to any power other than zero is zero. And we can write that formally, right? We can write this idea, I'll write it over here, uh, zero to any power x still equals zero, except, maybe comma, when x itself is zero. So zero to the zero is a special case. All right, hope this helps.